Hi, Chef Pete here from Sterling Silver Meats. Today I want to talk to you about a bone-in Manhattan strip. Right, we all know what the Manhattan strip loin is, so we're splitting that down horizontally, and we end up with two fillets basically out of that. Well, we're doing that with the bone-in strip loin today. Right, so we've got our bone here, and also our bone here. So I'm gonna cook this today on a cast iron skillet, but you can go about it in many different ways. You can cook it in a broiler if you want. Again, any steakhouse wood, or you can actually throw it on a grill. So I've got a hot pan here. I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of oil. These are ready seasoned just with salt and pepper, but whatever seasoning you'd like, you can put on there. And we're just gonna put these right in this pan. You can hear that sizzle. So we're gonna let these go for a little while. Probably about two minutes for one side. Then I'm gonna flip them over to the other side. Then I'm gonna hit with some butter, some herbs, some garlic. We're gonna do a little basting on this. Now you can do this on the cast iron skillet the whole way through if you want. Probably take around 12 to 14 minutes. These are one and a half inch cut steaks. Um, or what I would do is get them a uh, beautiful color on them, both sides, get a little bit of that flavor going, and then put it in the oven and finish it in the oven. So that's what we're gonna do here in a few minutes. But we're just gonna let these cook. Yeah, you, know, you gotta manage your, your flame a little bit. But what, what a great cut, something you don't see every day. I mean, this, this is gonna give that bone in experience, but also not this huge piece of meat that maybe, maybe someone who doesn't wanna eat a lot won't go for a bone in steak because it might be too much. Look at the size of these. I mean, they're substantial, but again, it's not a full, well, you know, 15, 18 ounce steak. You're talking probably more about eight to 10 ounces here. So we'll let these go. Check them a little bit. Ah, they need a little bit more time. What I do love about a strip loin and the Manhattan strip loin is the actual texture of it is wonderful. But you know, when you have a bone in product, what happens? You get more of a cook on one end and when you get closer to the bone, your temperatures change, right? When it's boneless, you get that same cook all the way through. That's what I enjoy about a bone in steak is I might have something that's a little bit closer to a medium and make my way as I'm eating it more to a rare, right? And, and the way it looks on a plate is great. But again, the size of this just makes for a beautiful plate presentation and you don't have to use you know, a 12 inch plate. You don't have to have it hanging off the side of the plate. So something to think about there too, right? Cause sometimes those pieces of meat are just massive. You know, at, a, at a, a high end steakhouse, that's the expectation. But this gives someone else who has a restaurant that isn't considered, say, a steakhouse, that option of offering something like this on the menu. So again, look, looking for that even color, right? We got some of that going. I'm gonna turn them over here. I'm gonna turn this flame down just a little bit. Because again, it's gonna take a while for these to cook. So now at this point in time, I'm gonna throw in some butter. I got some herbs and some garlic that I'm gonna put in here. Now I'm just gonna move that around a little bit. There we go. Again, you wanna watch your, your temperature here because if you got it too, too hot, you, you're gonna burn your butter, right? So really important. Now that we've got this going, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time just tilting it and getting all that flavor. I can smell those fresh herbs already on here. I can smell that garlic, right? So I'm gonna give it that beautiful base. We're gonna let that go just for a little bit. Well, then turn it back over in a little while here, because I want to get a little bit of that basting on the other side. And then we're going to go and put that in the oven. I like to move it around a little bit, make sure we're still getting that herb flavor. You can see the color going on on this roasting, basically, your garlic here. So 
So again, we'll let that go for another minute. Okay. Now I've got gorgeous color on this side too. See that? We're gonna base that a little bit. Look at that, we got even, even cooking, even around the bone there. So we're probably about three and a half minutes in on this. Then I'm gonna transfer this into the oven. I let that finish in there. Okay, so we've been in the oven for about five minutes and I've got the oven set at 400 degrees or 205 Celsius. And we're gonna pull these out. We're looking to cook these to, oh, about 57 degrees Celsius, 125 internal which these are spot on. Halfway through that cook in the oven, I did give it a flip. Um, so we, we, we had that hot, hot sear still going on on one side. I didn't want to overdo it. So I did give them a, a flip over during that time. So when they come out of the oven, you know, you give it another couple base here, right? And then what I like to do is just remove it, get it out, off that heat, and just let it rest for a few minutes. And then at that point in time, you can start putting together your plates um, and you know, you're gonna finish off with some compound butter or something like that, you'd start putting that on there. But we're gonna get back to this in a, in a couple minutes here and uh, cut it open and see what we have but this looks really, really beautiful. Okay, so we let these steaks rest for the last five minutes. And I'm gonna take one of these, put it on the board here. Look at all the juicy that looks. Looks phenomenal. Like I said, you still have this nice bone here, right? So great for a presentation, but I wanna cut into this and see how it looks. I think that's perfect. I mean, look at that, beautiful color, still nice and juicy. I mean, taking your time and cooking a steak is, is really the best way to go. And again, look, I like the bone here. You can see it on this side, right? So definitely want to think about which side you place it on when, when it's going on the plate. But re really love how that looks. So if you have any more questions, you can reach out to your sales rep. Hopefully you enjoy trying a new cut in your, in your restaurant and uh, have fun with it. You know, not everybody's going to be carrying a bone in Manhattan. So it's a great way to differentiate your, your facility, your, your restaurant uh, versus uh, others in your neighborhood. Enjoy.